There is a lot of stories and myths in the Philippines on how deep Badiao and Sama can really dive. We will now follow Nazahali in real time, making his deepest dive during the contest which was held in Davao in the southern part of the Philippines. He is using wooden goggles, locally called antipara. One rope is attached to his waist, the other rope to the weight, the so-called babet. His babet has wings to maneuver during descent. Before the start, Nazahali performs strong hyperventilation and makes whistling sounds. Most of his friends dive head first, he will dive feet first. He will fill his lungs only partially before the dive. This way of diving is the original style when they dive for livelihood, either to catch fish or scavenge for food. Typically, they have no need to go so deep since their only goal is to reach the bottom for the fishing activity. This is why for most of the participants, their performance during the contest was their deepest dive ever. Contrary to popular belief, the Sama or Badiao do not intentionally burst their eardrums. Nazahali's eardrums are intact. He equalizes probably through voluntarily tubal opening or some form of wet equalization. Only few divers during this contest were seen to grab their nose to equalize. When the divers reach the bottom, some stay there for some time, some don't. He now pulls hard on the rope. This is the signal for his buddies in the boat to pull him up quickly. The depth gauge reads 242 feet, which is 73.8 meters. This is the rock he brought up to the surface to prove he was at the bottom. 